Hey everyone, welcome back to Gannet Reviews. Today we're checking out our unique center console for inshore fishing. This is a 2022 Yamaha 255 FSH Sport E that was on display at the Daytona Beach Boat Show earlier this year. This one is powered by twin 1.8 litre. This is Super Vortex high output Yamaha engine, so you typically find in our jet skis. These are 250 horsepower each, so you've got 500 horsepower at your fingertips. I love the fact there's a rudder here. That may sound a little strange, but in jet boats, maneuverability is not always easy at low speeds. But having a rudder means that you do have increased maneuverability. It's just an extra well thought out design feature for this boat. From a price perspective, at the boat show, this one was an offer for 93,337 plus tax. And you can see here, this one measures in at 24 foot 6. She's got a beam at 8 foot 6. She's got a draft of only 22 inches. And she's got a weight of just over 4,800 pounds. And as we climb up the stern, you see we've got rear facing seats. There's also drinks holders and controls for the stereo. For a boat of this size, you've got quite a wide beam, but also clear deck space. There's plenty of room back here to be used as a casting platform. You see we've got a 30 gallon live well here as well. As we step forward, notice the rod holders and the gunnels. There's handholds everywhere. You get the padded Coleman bolsters, so you're not banging your hips into the side of the boat when you're underway. You get rod holders on the side of the hull, flush mounted on the deck. And this one's got snap-in teak style marine mat flooring. It's very soft and comfortable on your feet, but it's also easily removable for cleaning. And then as we get closer to the centre console, you see that we've got rod holders on either side, as well as more speakers. And then as we make our way forward, I was really impressed with the layout of this one for a boat of its size. It's only 24 foot in length, but you've got another bait station on the starboard side. And you've got another live well on the port hand side. You've got upholstered bow seating, and this has got storage underneath. It does come with a filler cushion. It's also got a cockpit table, so you can turn this into a large sun pad area. It's just a great boat that can serve as multi-purpose so the entire family can enjoy spending time on the water together. And obviously if you wanted to you can lift the cushions off the bow section and then that way you've got another casting platform. There's storage underneath the seating. We also have additional storage that is in the deck. These hatches lift up and you can see you've got clear access. You can put hold alls down here, you can put maybe you've got a boat cover for it, some sort of canopy cover, something like that. And I like that these lock into place, you don't need to worry about it popping open, either out at sea or if you're taking it by road. And I like that the live well on the port hand side is clear, that way you can see everything that's going on in there. Make sure the bait stays fresh, work out how much bait you got left as well. And in front of the console, we've got another bolster seat. And this one lifts up and it gives you an area where you can get changed with privacy. But you can also put a porta potty in here as well. For giving you more time on the water and again this locks closed so you don't need to worry about this one popping open either when again when you're either underway on the water or if it's been trailed behind a truck so make your way towards the helm you'll see we've got a cooler underneath the seat and then i also like the fact that you've got split bolster effect for the helm seat so you can stand up or sit down or a combination of both and for a boat of this size she's well equipped with a 12 inch simrad multi-function display there's a 7 inch Kinex touchscreen display. You've got cruise assist with no wake mode. And you can have controls here for both a windlass on the bow and this does come with a custom trolling motor mount that you can wire up to the helm as well. And everything about this boat has got a high quality feel to it. She may only be 24 foot long but she doesn't feel like an entry level boat. And then the engines for this one are located at the stern and I liked how easy accessible the engines were. Definitely makes service and maintaining far easier and more cost effective and you've got as much access and room. And as I mentioned earlier, these are twin 1.8 litre, they're Super Vortex high output Yamaha marine engines. It's very similar to the engines you'll find in their jet skis. Because the jet skis are as popular, it's easy to get parts for them. There's also a wide network of distributors that help service the engines. And at 250 horsepower each, you'll reach speeds of over 50 miles an hour in the right conditions. I also like the soundproof material that was here, should make it a quiet running boat. Now then another potential issue with jet boats is they tend to suck up anything in the water. But Yamaha thought this one through and you've got pump clean out ports. So you can just turn off the engine, lift this hatch and pull out whatever debris might be there 
and then fire the engine straight back up. I was very impressed with this boat. I can definitely see the advantages to it and the appeal. As always, I'd love to hear your thoughts and comments. If you could leave a comment down below. If you haven't already, please go ahead and hit that like and subscribe button. It really does make a difference. And I'd like to thank Yamaha for the opportunity to come on board, take a look at this one with the camera, and share it with you all. And I look forward to catching you on the next one. Thanks everyone.